Hello, welcome to Trin- uh, sorry, Dungeon Drawers Podcast. I'm your host, Justin. Today we're reviewing a, a Transformers comic book that came out this week. This is Transformers Shattered Glass. This is cover A by Alex Milne. This is $3.99 US, published by IDW. Which I never figured out what does IDW stand for. So this book, um, on the cover is an evil version of Blur. In this book, um, in this comic book, the Autobots are the bad guys and the Decepticons are the good guys. And because of that, they made the Autobots look more villainous and the uh, Decepticons more heroic, right? So in this book, uh, it's about this, this uh, body, bounty hunter or body scrapper, as they're called, called Blur. Yes, that's Blur. Who sometimes he talks flat, fast, sometimes he talks normal, right? This is written by David, sorry, Danny Lore, and art by Goodle Goody. All right. This, like I said, this came out this week. All right. So here's some art. Uh, he's like dragging along. Uh, a, de- a dead Decepticon. I think that's a headmaster. I'm not percent sure. I still need to um, watch uh, some old Transformers cartoons. I bought a bunch. So there's Ratchet, who's like a middleman. Uh, Blur goes in to get paid for his uh, bounty and gets told about a job where about uh, where um, Goldbug, which in this comic book. Cybertron is controlled by three factions of the Autobots, Goldbug, Prowl, and Optimus Prime, and they're currently in Gold City, which is run by uh, Goldbug, which Goldbug, if you ever watched the old cartoon, you know Goldbug is basically Bumblebee after he like came back to life and was given a new form. So there's Starscream, dual-wielding swords like he did in Transformers Armada. And they give him a a more heroic-looking color scheme, right? So, yeah. Uh, In this book, yeah, yeah, in this comic book, Blur um, takes the job to to capture uh, Starscream alive, but... You know, he needs to protect him from other body scrappers, right? And the entire tr- time, he's trying to gain uh, Starscream's trust, but, like, Starscream doesn't trust him at all. And uh, he doesn't tr- trust him, but, like, St- Starscream is wounded and he can't fly away. So he comes up with this plan, it, this plan to uh, lure, lure, uh, lure, Blur to the Vikinos and get him trapped, <laughs> right? And then you see uh, Blur get like encased in like uh, milk, like an ash or whatever, probably dead. And Starscream flies away, and he's going to meet Megatron. And there you get a uh, preview of what Megatron looks like. Looks, he looks pretty heroic here, right? Sucks that they don't transform into, like, uh, he doesn't transform into guns anymore. (laughs) It's usually, like, what, like a tank or, like, a jet or something, right? Yeah. Also, there's a preview. Here's, like, the different covers, which all have blur on them, on it. Which, man, I really love this version of, this version of blur. If I was still collecting Transformers, I would probably get one, (laughs) right? And you get like a four issue preview of the five, a four sorry four page preview of Transformers King Grimlock, which is going to be a five issue mini series with uh, Grimlock on some like savage planet, and it's written by Steve Orlando with art by uh, Augustin Padilla. Okay. So, yeah, that, that, that looks cool. So, like, uh, I actually enjoyed this comic book. There was some cool action. Some um, The plot was kind of cool where you got to see, like, you know, a what-if story of what if the Decepticons were good, good and the Transformers, sorry, the Autobots were evil, 
right? And there's some cool color schemes that they come uh, they came up with. And I gotta say, I love Blur's this design in this book. And uh, Starscream's design wasn't too bad, but you know, uh, I I felt like they could they could have made them look more cooler. But you know, they they, they want to keep to the G1 design as much as possible because G1 Transformers sell a lot, right? So I, overall, I love the action, character design, and the story. So I'm giving this a 7 out of 10. And it's at a decent price, you know. Though I think this is like at least 5 bucks Canadian. Right? Uh, I, can't, I can't remember what I paid for it. But yeah, it's like, it's cheaper than most comics nowadays. So, that, so yeah, like some, like there are a lot of comics for that are $5.99. This is free ninety nine US. So, I, so if you're a Transformers fan... Uh, I would say I would recommend it. Though I don't know if this is a mini series or a, uh, or an ongoing series. They uh, I didn't see any information about that. But you know I gotta say it's pretty cool, right? And it's worth, I would say it's worth the money. But if you want to wait for the trade, uh, wait for the trade. So yeah. Um, so my next review is going to be Lester of the Lesser Gods, and then after that. Uh, um, in another week or so, probably less, I'll be finished my Doom Patrol Silver Age Collection Volume 1. I'm like, I, I already got to the part where Mentalo uh, shows up, so I think I'm like, I have like six issues to go and I should be done. All right.